If you are an intelligent human being, even slightly, then you are very familiar with many aspects of our fucked up world. One of them is the male gender being treated like absolute shit. Check this out. School forces boys to apologize to girls for rapes committed by their gender. <sighs> I am no stranger to the facts. Yes, men in general are more oppressed than women are. But if we're talking about specifically rape, yes, women are raped more than men. However, let's look at how disgusting this article is. First of all, these are boys, not men. You're making boys at this school who are young apologize to girls who are not victims where the boys are also not rapists. I mean, if you wanted a way to fucking mutilate, like absolutely crush the self-esteem of the male gender as if it hasn't been crushed enough already, this is how it's done. Brower College, a secondary school in Australia, held an assembly on Wednesday forcing male students to apologize to female students for rapes committed by their gender. Parents were infuriated by the assembly. I would think so. Mother of to a son, year seven, approximately 12 years old, reported that her son was confused and didn't understand why he was apologizing to his classmates for rape and sexual assault. The apology was intended to be symbolic, but that didn't make it any easier for boys to understand why they were apologizing for things they hadn't done to girls who hadn't experienced it. The year seven student told his mother that boys were told to stand up and say sorry that women were raped and sexually assaulted by their gender. That is absolutely disgusting. That is so fucking disgusting. And it's not just about the fact that you ruined these young boys' self-esteem and like their future, but you're even sending a bad message to the girls because you're convincing them that they will be raped in the future. <laughs> This is, this is the worst thing. He said that he was made to stand up and basically apologize. It wasn't explained properly to the male students what they were doing or why they were doing it. Danielle Shepard, the boy's mother, told Seven News, they really should have made more of an effort to notify the parents, Shepard continued. Another parent of a male student complained about the assembly on a Facebook post and said, wow, just wow, this is actually disgusting, Brower College. Not at all impressed that you made my son apologize for something he's never done nor considered doing. Lady, you need to fucking sue the school. A male student who participated in the forced apology said on Snapchat, Guys go through as much shit as girls do. We actually go through more overall, but I will correct and say that when it comes specifically to rape, women are raped more. That is a fact. However, the reason why... We go against articles like this is, well, because it's fucking insane. But even if we are talking about real victims, the reason why we usually speak against it is not because we're trying to tear down female victims. We're just angry at the fact that male victims are ignored and even laughed at. That's why we get angry at articles like this. The principal, Jane Boyle, fuck this bitch, defended the assembly, although acknowledging it was inappropriate. Oh, just inappropriate, was it? Just, 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 just inappropriate. How about repulsive? How about fucking disgusting? How about psychologically damaging? How about victim blaming? Like, fuck you. The assembly included the screening of a video message by Brisbane's Boys College Captain Mason Black about being proactive in stopping incidents of sexual assault and harassment. Unfucking believable. To 12 year olds. In retrospect, while well intended, I'm sure. I'm sure. Ex explain to me how a school, you know, meant for something that is dead today called education, does not acknowledge the psychological trauma this causes. Completely dead self-esteem. The stress levels, the anxiety levels, the brainwashing. Like, 
Oh my god! Not every parent was offended by the assembly, and those parents should have their kids taken away. One parent wrote on Facebook, My son explained they stood not to apologize, but to stand in support of solidarity. This is really not hard to figure out. If you said the word sorry, you apologize. You either said sorry or you didn't. What the fuck? You'll find all schools will be teaching consent over the next year. Brower won't be the only one. So we've gone from boys being forced to say sorry for something they didn't do to a lesson about consent. Which one is it? I think we need to see a video of the assembly now. Another mother said her son told her they forced the apology was meant to raise awareness. Incorrect. So you can see the, 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 the forced apology was there. I believe the second kid. The first one that said, we didn't really apologize. Fuck off. I think the kid's lying or he was told to say that. I think there was a forced apology, but they switched it to raise awareness. This might come as a fucking shock to you idiots, but you can raise awareness on rape statistics by not forcing an innocent young teenager to stand up and say, sorry that my gender rapes your gender. These, are, these concepts are in two different fucking galaxies. You have to travel through a wormhole to make the difference in this shit. Concerns were raised at the Melbourne School Wesley College where people were apparently horrified that male students had taken notice of the appearance of female students and ranked them based on their looks. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you now claiming that teenage boys... <laughs> pointing at the f other female students in saying, you know, I rate her a 7, I rate her a 9, I rate her a 5, I rate her an 8. Are you saying that requires a rape apology? So you're saying that ranking the girls is rape or similar to rape. Unbelievable. Here's a lesson, that I, another lesson I can give you, because apparently you've never even met a teenager before. But it's really common for teenagers to rank the appearance of other people. Even girls do this. I went to elementary school too, and I went to high school, and it was not uncommon for me and the boys to go, Hey, look at that girl, isn't she really pretty? I rank her a nine. And yes, even the girls would talk to each other and go, I like that boy. I would definitely rank him an eight. I have literally heard both girls and boys doing this. And it is the furthest fucking thing from rape. You stupid fucking piece of shit. This fucking person launched a petition to demand that Australian schools teach consent to students. Again, like, we just, let's just say it again. Teaching consent has nothing to do with forcing your students to talk, to ap apologize for a horrible act like rape that they didn't even commit. Look at this idiot. For Black, this was personal, he said, because his own mother was r a sexually assaulted when she was a child of 10. I'm sorry, but you're gonna put the fact that she was victimized on boys who didn't victimize anybody. Your logic is up your ass. Okay, yada yada, skipping through this stupid horse shit. While he said teaching of consent would be mandated in all government schools, he said it would be done in an age-appropriate way. Yeah, that's age-appropriate. Having 12-year-olds who barely even know what rape is apologize for a rape they didn't even commit. That is... Definitely age appropriate. You f stupid, stupid person. I, I've, I've, I've read enough. You are sick. Every single person at this school, the teachers, the principal, need to be fucking fired. And if anybody who was at that school or has been told to do this at any school, and you see my video, I want you to know one thing. You did not rape anybody. 
and the girls that you apologize to are not victims of rape. At least I would certainly hope they're not because apparently the kids at the school were young. But do not ever feel guilty about what other people do. There are horrible people out there who commit rapes, but you're not one of them. And you are not responsible for someone else's actions. You do not ever need to apologize for something that you did not fucking do. Don't apologize unless you actually do it. And, side note, don't fucking do it. Fuck.